Hello guys, Kit here, and today I am doing a Minecraft 1.8 video, so, yeah. And, um, the first thing is, the n that's new is the menu. So, yeah. So this is basically the new menu, and, yeah, you can change the brightness, and, yeah, there's, a, there's quite a few different stuff. You can change the controls, and... Yeah, there's a lot of different stuff actually. So yeah, also I'm sorry I'm not speaking too loud. It's quite late and I just got my hands on this. So yeah, okay. Here's a uh, okay. Here's the new create world thingy. So let's just say hi. And I just want to be creative, just for the sake of this video. I like to create. Uh, generate that off. And yeah, we don't want villages and dungeons, etc. No, 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 we don't want any of that. So we be saved in high. And yeah, that's basically all the world options. And as it generates the world, we'll see. Okay. There's also first things first. There's the new vines that are in the game. And um, yeah, in creative mode, if I double tap, jump, I can do this, which is um. No mods, no single player commands, no Zom's mod pack, just double tapping just double tapping space well. Um there's also you can change the field of view now. So um how do this, how do I do this, how do I do this? It is, is it controls. Oh is it our field of view here it is. So if I want to play Quake Pro, I can play this. And then when I sprint it will go even more. And also if I sprint it's double tapping forward. I'm not sure if you can sprint backwards. No, you can't. So, sprint forwards and then pap, and then yeah. I think sprint is limited, but seeing as this is creative mode, it is not limited. So um yeah, if I kill this cow, it should drop something that's very near. If it stops running, okay, it doesn't want to die like that. So let me get this, which is also new. You in creative mode, you can get items. There's no longer a need for too many items. So, if I can find arrows, put 64 of those here. Just get rid of that for now. Change my field of view back to normal, and we can pull this, and then pop. Goodbye. And now that drops some cow meat, and we have here some experience points which are at the moment useless but not should be like fixing them up in 1.9 so yeah so here's this again they are quite powerful and here's the experience points again I'm not sure if you can climb up these and I don't think you can okay also these arrows are incredibly powerful and if I demonstrate okay I look how fast I can do this Okay, well that goes up there, one, two, three, four, five, and look up, it's still coming back down. It didn't kill me because I'm once again in creative mode, so yeah, I did it again. I can place a load of blocks and punch, and now it's just come down, so yeah. And once again, they are incredibly powerful when using them against mobs and um, animals, for example, that right there. So what else is new? We also have um, iron bars, which is like this. You can place iron bars. And in this creative mode, instant mine is always on, as far as I know. So yeah. There's also stone bricks. So let's scroll down. This is also new to me as well. There's a glass pane. So this is incredibly new to me. I'm guessing this is... Okay, I'm. Oh, I see, I see. It's basically a window, like a proper one, not just glass. I don't think you can place them sideways. Nope, you cannot place them sideways. Let's see what else we have here. Obviously, you have the vines. We have a melon, which is awesome. We have. What else do we have? 
I don't know what else we have actually. We have all the new types of food and seeds. I'm guessing this is where melons come from. So besides the punching, the pulling back, I think that is about it. So yeah. And sprinting punching is very effective. You can also use it against creepers. So that's like an awesome tactic to use. Sprint and then push the creeper very far back. But if I do it with a normal weapon of my choice, it should be much more effective. Continuous with damage, it would do it anyway, but let's go. Wait. Okay, I missed. Okay, that's that. So I think that covers the update. Also, switching render distances is um, much easier now. I don't have to like wait for a bit of extra lag. Um, fancy, fast, same thing. Smooth lighting. Oh yeah, the lighting's also different. Watch this. Okay, let's get into a dungeon. Or well, not necessarily a dungeon, just a cave. Oh come on, there has to be one somewhere. Okay, either way, this will do for now. If we get a normal torch, there's a completely new wait, lighting system. There we go. As you can see, this is now a tint of yellow. And you're no longer to get gonna get a normal white coloured light unless you place them every so often. So this also is really awesome considering it's a brand new light system. And yeah. And gravel seems not okay, there we go. So that's about it, I guess. I don't really think there's much more, as you can see. The light changes. And as it gets darker, I think I just fell. Yeah, I just, I think I went, um, wait. I don't even know which way I'm going now. And I can't type T to spawn, so. Maybe not, you should change, um, you can't, oh no, there we go, you can't, like, break bedrock, but I guess you have to be pretty steep to go below bedrock, so, yeah. As you can see, if I place one there, the lighting will get dimmer, and a darker tint of yellow. And here I am back to the day, I'm not, yeah, I think this does go into night time, but I'm not sure. Also, the clouds are much better for me, they are not split up like in previous mine, um, um, what's it called? Minecraft stuff. I mean, previous Minecraft versions. So, if I save and quit. Single player. And then, high two. Survival with create structures on. I like stuff. Done. Create new world. Now, let's see what this generates. Okay. As you can see, I think this is the new hunger meter on my screen. And, yeah. So, if I keep doing this, maybe it will go down. But as you can see, look, here's where the experience points come into play. Okay, but maybe I can't, I need to kill an animal first. This pig has to die. pig is moving much faster, like, seriously. I think they made mobs a bit stronger towards normal punching damage. But maybe that's just a guess. As you can see, that's what the experience points have done. And meat is now stackable. I think it's up until 8. You can't fly in this one. You can only sprint. But I don't think... S it's unlimited sprint for now. I'm not sure. It might be... I will quickly look for about a second to see if I can find an NPC village. Or just a village, I don't know. Also, this jumping, this sprinting can help you jump over more than one block at a time. You can also jump over two, which is quite good. Although will, it will be destroying some Minecraft challenge maps. Okay, I cannot seem to find what I'm looking for. 
So, I just keep looking for a bit longer. There is many more mobs. If I press F, show it. Wrong button. <laughs> the FPS is still quite good, but it does not feel like 39 PS, FPS, 44. I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, maybe because I haven't generated this world fully. And I'm recording, but yeah. I am not noticing a difference because I only see it f um, 24 frames anyway. So I cannot seem to find a village, but there might be a spider in here. Oh, am I peaceful? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm peaceful. Let's see if this has any effect. Oh, as you can see, the um, food bar goes down. So if I jump down there, it shouldn't kill me. If I sprint, also your health will automatically regain as long as you are not hungry. I mean, if you are, um, if you're not hungry, yeah, as long as you're not hungry, your health bar will regain. So if you have that food bar filled, your health will automatically regain. And you now have to eat these like this. You hold in the right thing, right. Um, mouse click and now you eat like that so I think these are all the updates but I don't quote him on it I haven't seen a full update list because when I open Minecraft it's the same as everyone else so yeah I think that's once again about it and I shall see you guys later